Yeah, we good. We good. Ram, you here? I'm here, dude. All right, man. All right, cool, 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 cool. Hey, dude. All right, so this is possibly the last week that we that we do this. Use this name. I mean, I gotta match it with the one on the fucking screen, dude. I didn't even know the 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 logo on the podcast overlay was wrong. I, not the, not wrong, but spelt wrong. I didn't even know. Yeah. I didn't even know. I, I, nev I never thought it'd be. Next is on kind of good. Nah. I think it's fine either way. I don't want it to be me though, man. I don't want it to be because I was the last person that was added to this thing. Why should it be me? Eram, let's go. Let's you got go. you got three M's or two M's, dude. Two M's, man. Is it two M's? All right. yeah. Three M's would make no sense. Man. Oh, my bad. Man. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> My fault, dude. I didn't mean to fuck it up. Oh, snacks. Yes? I came up with a snack that you would enjoy. Can I make it? Are the ingredients located uh, in you, Spain? Do you have ice cream, milk, and, and like, pudding mix? Pudding mix? I'm not you sure know, we like got... the powder pudding mix? I'm not sure if we got pudding mix. Oh, yeah, that's right. Europeans don't do that thing. Um... What they do, I can teach you how to make the most amazing milkshake ever. Milkshake? Do I need a blender? Um, ideally, but not necessarily. Is it going to be a lot of muscle work, man? If you don't have a blender. <laughs> oh, man. I'm not sure if it's going to be worth it. Oh, it was worth it. Dude, it's going to be tough trying to buy milk because Jim's trying to make me go vegan, man. Oh. Rough, man. Yeah. No, but I said I'm not giving up milk. I can't give up milk, dude. Giving up milk would mean giving up mac and cheese. And I'm not eating fake mac and cheese, alright? <laughs> dude. To I be honest, that. I hate milk, so I could give up milk. I'm not giving up fake mac and cheese. Fucking carrot and almond cheese. What the fuck? <laughs> alright? I'm not, I'm not giving up cheese. I like dairy, but I'm lactose intolerant. Rip. Yep. <laughs> rip, rip. All right, so we're gonna open up the the script. Well, I don't got the scripts. I don't need the script. Fuck it. I yeah, remember. I can guide you with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There isn't much to really go off of for that. Mostly just the oh, well, the questions are on there, but I know my questions, man. I remember them. <laughs> all right. All right, all right. So yo, it, I'm I'm your host, aka Snacks. AKA, hold on, let me pull out my AKAs first, yo. Shout out to Exuvian for making some AKAs for me. I got some AKAs that I gotta read. Are you guys ready? Yo, I'm Snacks, AKA the Crazy Cassidy, AKA the Hammer Harbinger, AKA the Gun God, not really, but AKA the Blaster Bro, I can fuck with that one. <laughs> A.K.A. the Tournament Terrorizer. I be fucking up everybody's seating and placements. A.K.A. the Sexual Sensation. Because you know I'm sexy as fuck. A A.K.A. the Sentinel Cosplayer. I am the inspiration behind Sentinel. A.K.A. the Supreme Singer. Don't make me sing, alright? Make everybody panties drop. Also, doggo. And then we got, uh, we got Voxy. A.K.A. the Brawl Mama. A.K.A. Always sick nowadays. <laughs> um, and then we got Techie, aka he makes toxic truffles. They are not toxic. <laughs> <They're fine. laughs> aka, I don't know, man. Techie's just Techie, dude. The not pun. The esports calzone this time. The punny lord. Oh yeah, aka the esports calzone wrapped in bacon. And that's all we got that for today. <laughs> that's fair. Don't oh, me. and don't forget Ram, aka yeah. the recent defeater. Defeater? Is that a word? Victor? I don't know, man. The, American. A, aka the recent victor over Dobrain. Let's go, man. Oh, God. 
Oh, you got a victory, bro. Not many people can say that, all right? Okay, okay. You got to respect it, man. Respect it. Respect it, dude. Respect it. Yeah, man, Voxy's Anyways. sick, man. She always yeah. sick nowadays, man. <laughs> I'll buy Brahma's next week for sure, okay? Oh, God, there it goes. Rip through. Why is Snack such an ass? Am I really an ass? Can you explain to me why you think I'm an ass? Emily Bay? You can be an ass. Am I really an like ass? Consistently an ass. No. <laughs> I think Everybody's I'm a... an ass, though. I'm an ass. I think I'm a nice person. I pride myself I know you're on really nice people. I think I'm super nice. Alright, on topic, why don't we start with some questions? Techie, you wanna oh. lead us on that? Oh, fine, fine, yes. <laughs> Alright, Aram. Uh, or you, Aram, or. How, okay, first off, you how, do, how do you prefer to pronounce this? Okay, so it used to be Aram, right? But all the yeah. Americans say Eram, so. I was gonna say, it's. Yeah, so now I'm so, Eram. So you... Okay, so we're gonna, yeah. we're gonna go yeah. American here, so you're yeah. Eram. Alright, okay. so first question off for you, at, oh, technically second now. Um, did you play any fighting games before you played Brawlhalla, or, or is this like your first one? I, I played a bit of Super Smash Bros. Melee, but I, w I was yep. too bad for that game. That's why I started playing Brawl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. So, like, were you, were you wanting to play it, like, professionally, competitively, or was it just for fun? Smash? Yeah. Yeah, um, I mean, I wanted to get good, but no, it, it was it was pretty far it was pretty far away from good, so I wasn't really expecting okay. to get anywhere in it. Alright, well then... So is that, Brawlhalla uh, like easy mode then? Compared to Smash, man? It's I mean, easy. it's if you wanna get like good, because it, it's, it has an online mode, it's so much more easy to get into than the Smash competitive scene. Agreed. Yeah, Rin said you gotta play Smash for like five years, and then you start being decent. Exactly. And then you have to go to the lands, you know. How does that work though? Why five years? Because it's such a technical game, man. Five years, though? Dude, imagine every time you have to use an, you use an attack and you land on the ground, you have to press a button to reduce ending lag. It takes time to get used to. Oh, man. That's fair. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Next question for you. How were you introduced to Brawlhalla, then? Um, I think it was in beta. Uh, one of my friends saw a YouTube video for the game or something. And basically wanted me to try it, so I signed up for a beta key. And I got the key one week later. And played with my friends for like a few hours. And yeah, that's basically it. Okay. See, you're luckier than me. I got my beta key like the week before I left beta. <laughs> so oh. it was pretty oh, worth it. Feels bad. Uh, but, uh, alright, and who's your main, or do you have more than one? Ooh, um, see, officially, I'm an Asuri main, man, but I basically never play Asuri in Tarni anymore, so I'd say Asuri and Aesoth right now. And okay. Ember, man, he plays bow, man. Oh, yeah, okay. Cool. He's Ember. lying to everybody. Dude. Ram, yeah. when he tryhards, he <laughs> plays bow. If he's not tryharding, then he's not playing bow. Okay, okay. I'll keep that in me, mind. Man. You got me. You got me. I'm exposed, man. <laughs> Alright, and then additionally to your mains, do you have like a favorite legend or multiple legends that you wouldn't really consider a main, but you can appreciate? Ooh, I mean core, because gauntlets. Um, Alright, that's fair. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. So those are like all the characters to play. And Ember, but <laughs> Snack says I'm an Ember main, so I guess I guess that's my main. All right, wow. and then what about your favorite weapon or weapons? Like it doesn't have to be the ones that you main. I would assume guitars to an extent and bow, according to what Snack said. But anything else? True. Um, I'm, I actually don't like guitars as much now, though. Oh really? That's it. Yeah, they feel kind of. No, I've just played them too much, I guess. They're too OP for him, man. 
No, it's just there's it's too much of the same thing, man. <laughs> Dyer's and just, just Buckner again. That's, that's yeah, how yeah, Buckner. It, right? so, so I can just spam that. <laughs> then I love the weapon again, man. Nothing as good as being able to spam that. Whip. No, but I like. I I want to learn guns, man, but it feels so weird to me. Yeah, guns are yeah. stupid, man. Cool, man. Or gauntlets, cause gauntlets, basically. But gauntlets are bad, though. Gauntlets are cool. They're cool, but they're bad. Yeah, but I want to learn them, cause they're cool. I'm about to, I'm about to do the, <laughs> the fucking Nemo. The bad. No, no, it's hold on. The oh. bad. <laughs> Shit. So bad. The bad. <laughs> Shit, didn't know Slavo was here. All right, and then, who do you think, if you think there's anybody, are the best legends or weapons for competitive play? Like, you don't have to have an opinion on this. We just ask in case you think that something is unbalanced. I mean, competitively, character-wise, I'd say, dude, I want to say nine, man. Because Beer is strong. Yeah, she has defense and she has force. And in my opinion, defense is the best stat, man. Like, and spear is one of the best weapons, so... Either Nai or uh, Diana. Because Diana's stats are great too. Plus guns and bow. Like, guns, bow, and spear. What about yeah. Barraza, man? He has defense and force, and he has guns, and he has an axe. I never played a good Barraza, man. That's the thing. Alright, man, you're gonna fucking make Dobrin mad yeah, and put out the Barraza. That's why I'm afraid of Dobrin, man. <laughs> Never played Varelsa, it's gonna play Varelsa against me. For real. Secrets out. Man, where would you like the meta to be, Ram? You hate guitars, so you don't like guitar meta, so what do you want the meta to be? I want sword meta, man. You want sword meta again? Yeah, dude. dude. Sword is such a cool weapon. Actually, like, sword is cool, man. Then you gotta go play on NA, man. Oh, can I? Because when I play on NA, the sword meta makes me mad, dude. Then why do you want sword meta? Because EU swords are cool. Any oh. swords are not cool. Man. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I'm i sorry to my fellow Honestly, Americans. Honestly, I think I can respect that. Fellow Americans? I didn't know you were a fellow American. Okay, my American <laughs> people. Comrades, man. <laughs> yeah. EU people say comrades. ERM is actually the president. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, Dude, you're there's, the worst, man. There's an ERM for president meme, man. <laughs> let's, I know, man. Let's talk about that, dude. Yeah, let's not talk about it, man. You're gonna make the boo people in Dobrin mad, and he's gonna pull out Barraza. Man, dude, Dobrin's after me already, man. Let's go. That's good, man. You need the competition. Man, I don't wanna do the money match, man. Dude. <laughs> I'm scared now. The Russian mafia after me, man. <laughs> Alright, now what's your practice routine, Ram? Other than beating me over and over again with guitars and playing with Cal. I mean, I, I pretty much know your practice routine. Either you play guitars versus me and then you leave us and you go play with Cal. <laughs> That's your practice routine, right? That's ba basically my practice routine. Do you go, go into the training room? What do you do in training room if you go in training room? Dude, I go into training room so much and the only thing I do in training room is just throw weapons at the bot. <laughs> it's literally the only thing I do. Just throw weapons upwards and see how far I can make them bounce. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I learn absolutely nothing. Oh my god, dude. Oh, we got a we got a question from chat. Who's your favorite uh who's your favorite AI member? My favorite AI member? Yeah. Ooh. Okay, you know, Max, you're cool and all. But I I mean I gotta say Slug King dude. You gotta say Slug King? He's, there's something about he's Slug not King. even an AI member, dude. He's an AI recruit. Okay. If we have to go with members, dude, you're putting so much pressure on me, man. Come on, man. We gotta hear it. It has to be... Okay. This guy there's, there's only one right answer, dude. Oof. Okay. Iram? That Iram guy's pretty cool. No, man. You God can't... Damn it. No, oh. you can't choose yourself. <laughs> man. What a okay. cheater. Fuck, man. Um... Okay, fine. I'll go. Okay, snacks, man. No, man, that's the wrong answer. No. Did you fail? The right man? answer, man. The right answer is Saki, man. Everybody oh, loves yeah. Saki, dude. Dude, I forgot about Saki, man. How could you forget about Saki, the beloved AI member, bro? I'm sorry, bro. Oh my God, he's not gonna be nice in it now. He's gonna whoop that ass, man. You're not safe, man. What the hell, bro? Oh my God. All right, yeah, what right. are we doing now? What's the last the question? Yeah, exactly. I know this. Everybody knows this. 
What can we expect from you regarding sponsors in the future and teams? I mean, I can I can say that AI is gonna be you know stepping up our shit, man. We're gonna be going ham in twos, hopefully. You're gonna be going ham in twos. Yeah, man. Well, what about you, man? You looking for sponsors, bro? I mean, I'm looking for sponsors, man. Are you really looking for sponsors, man? Because I was looking for sponsors, but I wasn't really, really looking for sponsors. But okay. now I'm really, really looking for sponsors. So are you like, okay. are you I'm looking for sponsors? Are you really, really looking for sponsors, though? I'll be really, really looking for sponsors. You sending them emails, man? You got your, oh, you got your portfolio them. made, bro? Yeah, I've got that, man. You got well, your professional portfolio? Yeah, man, I got that, I got that going, dude. All right. Was was so also. While you were doing hack, you, like, you probably could have connected with a couple organizations that were there. I mean, I could have. But he was a little but bitch. We told him. Social oh my god, we told him, and he was acting Dude. like a little bitch this about is it. True. Dude. The BM. Man, is this, real. this is how Snack treats his members. Too. Dude, he's like, he came back to the, <laughs> he came back to the, the uh, to Discord. Yeah. He's like, yo, I see that Epsilon guy. Should I go talk to him? Me and Ram is like, yeah, go talk to him. <laughs> and then it's like, nah, man, I don't know. That's kind of weird. And I feel awkward. Like, <laughs> how is that weird? Oh my oh, god, no... man. Dude, I'm a 15 year old kid just walks up to some random Epsilon guy. Sup, dude? I play brawl. Dude, you should have been like, what? yo, what's up, man? I play Brawlhalla. I'm ranked three on the leaderboards as of right now. I Until can pull I up. By Memoria. I got my laptop right here, and I can pull up the website, yo. That I'm going to. I'm big shit, yo. I'm turning 16 next year, man. I can fly by myself. Let's go. Put a jersey on me, and let me smack some people. <laughs> Alright, why don't we segue into some BCS stuff? Let's get off that sure. uh, throwing under the bus topic. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll fo er, whoa, English is hard. I'll talk about the placings first, and then we can talk about any additional thoughts and such. Alright, so first, in case people didn't know, for the 2v2's weekend, was Pugsy and Epps, or Egg Soup. Nobody's surprised. Second place is Boomy and Remy, and then third place was Twilight and Stevenator. Thoughts on that? Let's go. Man. First off, All right, I go for it. surprised. Really? You think so? Twilight and Stevenator were the favorite to win. So, them coming third was actually a bit of a shock because they put a lot of time and effort into training up for it. Well, it's like implying that third is bad, and that's not even No, third bad. is not bad in any way. <laughs> but it was it was pretty shocking that they didn't come in first. If you're not first, you lost. Oh, my Aww, goodness. Man. Man, see? <laughs> yeah, mentality, man. <laughs> yeah, but honestly, I'm pissed, man. I'm fucking pissed. Oh, how does okay. how does how does fucking 130 teams sign up but only 60 people s check in? I'm so pissed, dude. I wanted to see Arkosh Jelly. I wanted to see Croc and Doppy. I wanted to see a whole bunch of other people, right? But no, we had 60 people sign up. I mean, check in. I'm so pissed. That it makes. I n think Doppy was busy for that. Like that's a personal thing. Yeah, do but Doppy. You're right. That's very unorganized. But that's not really surprising coming from a gaming community. Let's be honest. Um, Doppy was busy instead yes. of winning two hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> Is that yeah. really? I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just saying. I think it was a personal thing for him. Oh, that's maybe. Irrelevant. Like we're talking in general. Like this is not yeah. surprising um, for me. Honestly, when you think about it, this was the first tournament most of those people that dropped out have ever done. Um, yeah, that too. The the system is a lot clearer now. They've added a, like a bot to help guide people, and they can pull the information they need whenever they want instead of, you know, asking admins and stuff all mm -hmm. the time. Mm -hmm. And they they gave clear instructions, clear rules, all that stuff. Because that's what we were lacking. I think was like a way to point new people from point A to point B. Okay, okay. I, I'm just disappointed, man. Well, it's a learning thing. Yeah, it was the but, first time I mean, we've we still done have, it. Yeah, that was twos, but we still have time to see where it'll go in the future for the next weekend yep. or so. I hope yeah, that doesn't happen for interesting. I, I hope it doesn't happen for EU, man. You know what I'm saying? But what about that but frost, though? It's be interesting because CEO. Oh, true, true. Can people really go to CEO, though, from EU? Are people really flying out? No, I mean... Several of the BCS people will be at CEO. So oh, like, so yeah. they got to they got to get people to administer. Yeah. Okay. 
So well, that's what, gonna be the challenge of this week. What about the like two of the? What about there's like three NA Frost players, right? And then two of them showed up and like, yeah, we're fucking good. And yeah, smack they, people. They that was crazy, man. man. They didn't even know Frost existed in US, man. Dude, <laughs> we got Frosty Fern always in chat. What are you talking about? Is he Frost? Yes, that's why his name is Frost, and then he put Fern. At the you end. Mean his, yeah. You mean his E Fern was his name before he turned into Frost? No, his name was Frosty Fern. But then he turned Frost and then his name turned into E Fern. What? I'm not uh, sure I'm following, but okay. Uh, like like Frost, Lime, E Fern, haha. It's still a continuation of his name. <laughs> it's just the clan. It's just split up. It's stupid. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, man. But yeah, uh, yeah I, I didn't really. Honestly, when I first thought about when I first thought about um, the people playing, and I thought like before I looked at the the bracket, and I thought, okay, top NA teams, who's gonna do good? You know, I I thought I thought about King, right? Um, I thought about the Punisher and Ender doing good, and then Noel and um, and some other people doing good. Um, I also thought about Arkosh Jelly because they're like the they make twos exciting. They're, they're the only people that make twos exciting. They made all the lad stuff. They're, they are the lads. So I thought about them. Um, but then when I found out, like, I know Arcos and Jelly didn't sign up, but I didn't know if, if Legit Punisher and Ender signed up. When I found out, like, a lot of people didn't sign up and that, like, Crocky teamed up with LDZ instead of Doppy. Like, I was just so upset, man. I was so sad. Well, I... A lot of the higher two players actually had to drop out. Um, the one that I was really sad that we missed was uh, Magma Bob and Z, because yeah. uh, they they were coming in and then Magma Bob was literally two minutes late to check in, and Sorry. it it made me so sad. Yeah, Z Zombie, he was coming back for it. Oh really? Oh man. Yeah. That's honestly a tragedy. That makes me really sad. Dude, why does Z Zombie have to Z the check in, man? Like, come on. You it wasn't wait. even Z Zombie. No, it was Magma. It was Magma. Magma. <laughs> oh, my uh, God. Yep. Yeah. But there's been a lot of esports success out of it, so that was pretty hype. Sounds good. But yeah, that's that's my thoughts on everything. I'm just disappointed in NA, man. That's all. Hey, whoa. It'll get better. Why do you not hope for this for EU man? Dropouts. I don't. I don't want EU dropouts, man. Yeah, but the more dropouts, the, the better it is. You to win, man. True, man. But that's <laughs> that's that fair. is true. How do you think I win, man? You, you make the others drop out. No, Magma Bob. <laughs> well, is Magma Bob here? Feels bad, man. We feel for you, seriously. At least I do. That makes me really sad. Alright, yeah. um, Snacks, did you want to talk about uh, casting and such? Oh yeah, man, I wanted to give what I think casting should be like. Um, so, currently, like, casting is, like, casting, casting in this game is, like, basically like any other, in any other game. At, like, the current meta of casting is like any other game. You have, you have, like, a whole lot of shout casters that can provide the hype and stuff like that. Um. Currently, I, I kind of disagree with the casting meta at the moment because, like, in terms of this game being, like, this game is, like, super simplistic in terms of, like, inputs and, and stuff like that. But in terms of, like, playing the game, the game gets kind of, uh, the game gets more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It, more complicated because you have more you have a whole lot of jumps right that you could that you have access to all the time you have more dodges uh, that you have access to all the time so you have different ways to do attacks not really different ways to do attacks but you have like the same three attacks on the ground and in the air and like currently let's say let's say we see a nigh and then we see somebody pick like uh, a random pick like uh like um Ogrim, right? So what casters do now nowadays is they say, Oh, they're both high defenses, so they're probably gonna be trading evenly and uh Ogrim has more speed, so we gotta see if he outs if he outpaces the nigh and blah blah blah. Like they mention all this stuff that is like super ap apparent, right? Like it's 
like yeah we we can see the stats like i understand if um if they say it like let's say if if i want to use if we got you, you always got to use smash bros as an example like if they talk about uh fox being a fast a fastballer in smash bros and like there's no way to know Fox is a fast faller, so people have to new people have to remind them that Fox is a fast faller. You know, like they have to say that Fox is light, so he might die early. There's no way to see if somebody's light because you wouldn't know that uh, Captain Falcon is kind of a lot more heavier than Fox. They look, you know, they look kind of similar, and you don't know that Falcon is a fast faller, but he's also heavy and shit like that, and and melee. So there's a lot of hidden things that you have to learn throughout the throughout melee and casters have to remind people about that but in terms of brawlhalla we can see the stats like people can see the stats we don't i don't need somebody like let's say i'm coming i'm just i'm a new player right and i'm coming to watch a new tournament right and then you know the casters they basically all they say is they read the stats right i, I currently don't agree with that i, I would like if I would I would want casters to actually study the game and study matchups so they can talk about what weapons or what players have to do in different matchups like like can 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 Katars fish for dares versus Axe? I don't think so. I think Axe can stuff dares and Katars very well, but you won't hear that from you know uh you won't hear that from a caster most of the time. You won't hear casters say, okay, being a guitar player and you play against Axe and you play against this, you have to learn to nair correctly or you have to learn to space your side lights in a special way. Or they, they never really talk about matchups. It's like I, I wish casters nowadays would study the game, study matchups and study legends and study different ways to to uh, to cast the game in a more complicated level i mean just like just saying you know dare and stuff like it like you can't really compare it because you can say you can call out dares in other games and sares and stuff like that but i feel like there 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 could be more time spent on the technical aspect that players spend doing the game like when i when i watch a game and uh and then they go for something like let's say a player does something that I thought was super technical, right? But it missed. The the caster most likely say, "Oh, he's just throwing out this for no reason and it whiffed and he's about to get punished," stuff like that. But and they don't see the technical aspect that he actually did to throw it out. It, just because it missed doesn't mean what he did wasn't super technical. And a lot of that goes unseen, you know? Like like either you get praised for hitting something whether it's technical or not or you get praised for you get you get fucking like criticized for doing something if it hit or not instead of you know somebody dodging something that was actually super hard to dodge whether he covered the options like let's say let's say somebody covered every option except one and that person found one option i would like a caster to say oh did he did you know that he covered five options just now but he found out like one of the you know seven options that he had and I would like casters to speak on speak on that instead of just saying, "Oh, there he go. He did. Did you, you saw those down lights come into play? And and the down light stairs, and he did this combo. And you know, I wish they would actually say, look at the spacing, look at the step back that he took, or look how he uses chase dodges, or look how he look how he delays his his stairs instead of jump stairing instantly. He delays it by half a second just to get the perfect stair height because some weapons are different that than other weapons. Like weapons like hammer, you need to do jump stair all the time you can't really delay your stairs you either fast fall stair or you do jump stair weapons like axe there's three different kinds of stairs you could, you could do fast fall stair you could do a delayed jump stair and then you could do instant stair you know there's different ways that weapons stair and the way they move and you never really hear it from casters and players they they come to the game and they they get destroyed because they don't really you can't really copy i mean they can copy what it looks like but if nobody's explaining to them exactly what's going on then you know they they're not really learning the game it's just people you know it's like i'm listening to the radio when i should be you know like it sounds like like casting na casting for brawlhalla nowadays is like radio casting you know they're just calling out everything instead of saying what exactly going on you know so yeah i think to an extent i definitely agree with that but along with that, there are definitely some people where it's less constructive and more just in the moment, just hype, just um, heated talk about what's going on. And I do think it could be in-depth, but I think maybe it's just lack of improvisation, I think, for some people. 
Um, as I said, TWK is pretty good about that, but don't they also have somebody that evaluates it after they initially cast it? Yeah, and I'm, yeah. Techie, you, ha you had you had some points but... about that. Hi. Yeah. Okay. My 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 little rant on VCS casting thing is uh, all about the uh, analysis thing, where it just fe like it visible or just every part of it feels like filler, and I know that's not what we want. I would be so 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 happy if we did something like had them practice uh, like frame by frame analysis of a cool play that happened or um, it, like even added a setting into the replay thing would allow you to like play it at well I guess there is that setting where you play it at a, at a slower time or something mm -hmm. and so you kind of can see that because you don't need like circles around stuff you can just have these guys talk about it most of the people watching understand what's going on I think they would help a lot of the scouts that are watching too kind of understand the game. Um, just it, it opens up a large window for like all these things to be understood and to reach out to a better audience. So, and it won't even feel like filler because let's be honest, some of the plays that happen I would love to see again. So, like yeah, true. go ahead. Sorry. Uh like so if we're so if we're talking talk about bcs the way i feel about it, so bcs current format is two hype casters right sparky and 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 uh and duke they're they're the hype people right sparky provides hype duke is the shout caster that can go that can say a thousand words in two minutes right so um they have two hype casters and then they're supposed to have two analysts right currently i think only the only person that acts the only caster Above any, out of all casters, right, that I think studies the game immensely is uh, TWK and Orange B, like they said in chat. I think I think they're the only two that actually study the game. I wish uh, what I'm proposing is that you have one sh you have one shout caster, right, or one hype caster. You don't really need a shout caster. Like I don't I don't like having having Duke repeat. What what he sees going on in the match is cool, but I don't think I need it in in Brawlhalla. Like I don't think the gameplay is so fast currently that I need somebody to to be like, oh, what 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 just happened? You know, like whoa, like what what happened? You know, like you, I don't like now gameplay is kind of slow. Um, I don't really need to say, oh, he's going for another Sair. He did another Sair. I would like to hear analysis on how he's doing Sairs. Like. Twilight, for example, the Ser Master, right? How does he win only with Sairs? He he does super technical Sairs, like super, like the way he jumps and does Sairs. His his movement with five speed is so good with Sairs, and it's different with uh, different legends that he plays on. And you can see the movement. You can see how he delays his Sairs. How he, when when does he fast fall? When does he input the fast fall? You know things like this. How does he do his dares? Things like this is so technical, but in the eyes of casters and in the eyes of the players, it's oh, uh, Twilight spamming Sarah. You know, damn, he's just like Sarah Master, but they don't really see that he's actually putting in like super good work on how he's doing Sarah. You know, True. so like I, I wish they would have the hype caster, right? Somebody that could provide the hype, and then an analyst that actually can go in and say, okay. L look how he's fast falling. These fast falls are super good. Look at the empty, look at the bunny hops, right? He's b hopping to to bait out something else, or um, he's turning around his uh, he's turning around his nares to get a better hitbox, or um, you know, like for people to go in and do that, and then like and then let's say you have more analysis, so you switch it to not, not even more analysis. Let's say let's say you don't even have an analysis desk. Let's say the the analysis analysis guy when when somebody, when the shoutcast is going on and on, he writes down notes, uh, not notes, but he writes down like timestamps. So every match is eight minutes, right? So he basically writes down the timestamp of when, right? The shoutcaster would then, you know, provide fillers on, you know, whatever, whatever's going on, just does what the shoutcaster do. And then they go to the replay and they show, and then like the analysis guy, like, look at this, look how he delayed his, uh, like his axe ground pound. Like there's, there's axe players that, they don't immediately ground pound because when you do ground pound, your momentum goes up and then you pause in the air 
for for like a really long time and people don't understand people think that when they when when they see the ground pound they immediately think that you're going to go down so they go like they skirt right above you and they get in that safe zone but if you delay your ground pound on x you stay there for a little bit people get close you let go the hitbox comes out and they die off the top right some people get some people get hit by that but a lot of people don't know that you have to do it that way or that he's doing it that way on purpose or something like that and like if it whiffs, he's like, oh, he just whiffed the ground pound. Why is he going for ground pound? But like, like he's going for because he wants that aerial hitbox there. So it would be cool if they if they actually wrote it down, went into the replays immediately after. Like have somebody save the room, right? Like give like two minutes for somebody to talk about whatever. Or maybe like they play the set. And then as we wait for another match, they go into the replays. They do this. They talk about these different things. So people can then put it into, put it into their gameplay. Because... Well, when I when I took the time playing, I I completely ignored casters because, like, I didn't really pay attention to what they were doing. I paid attention to how they were doing and how can I copy it. Like, um, th I could go on and on about the different things that I noticed that don't go that go unheard in other people's eyes. And then if I say it on my stream, people are like, "What he did this? I don't get. It. Oh, now this is you know this is amazing or blah 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 blah." Like I get hyped when I see certain things, but you don't really see uh, other people talk about it i just wish that right. uh, casters would you know study the game you know at least one of them a, a part of the team the two-person team like somebody has to study the game yeah and like i said i definitely agree um i think just for some people like i said it's just a lack of being able to do it in the spur of the moment kind of thing and for casting in particular i'm sure there's pressure to like try to not mess up i'm sure and just trying to improv as you go I think it's just some people are better than that, or better at that than others. And so, I don't know if we just, what do you recommend? Just different people, or just looking further into how they can improve that? Uh, like, less emphasis on play-by-play -play casting. Because, right. like you said, like you said, they, they can't really go, they, they, right now you they can't really go like on improv on talking about whatever when they're focusing on play by play casting like like you hear so one of the complaints that i always see in chat is like people say what is dare and what is sare and what is nair right um, True. Yeah. they people say oh all they do is say dare say or nair and i don't even know what the fuck they're talking about right well um i mean so we don't really have to say it like they're not going to know what we're talking about anyway so why even you know dumb it down if even the, like if we dumb it down and then people that barely know anything about the game still don't know what we're talking about then wh why are we casting towards people and you know that barely know anything about the game you know people that know what dare say and nair is they don't want to hear you know dare say and nair and then people that don't know what dare say and nair is they still don't want to hear Darren Sarah there because they don't know what it is, right? You can't spend, they can't spend all their breath saying neutral air and down air and side air and blah, 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 right? So let's just, let's cast towards people that may be looking to learn something from it. You know, let's break down the gameplay, like let's watch it. And if you see something cool, be like, wow, look at this, look at that fast fall air that he did. Look at this delayed fast fall air or, you know, let's talk about things like that. Um, th that would be my thing. Less emphasis on play-by-play -play casting, more emphasis on uh, what players are doing exactly. Like, are they spacing? Are they being super patient? Are they playing parry? You know, like. Right. Yeah, I think they're just trying to be more inclusive, but it's not really happening. And so there's the odd kind of middle ground between people that are unfamiliar with the game and obviously people that are in the meta and are like consistently playing even if you're not in competitive there are people that understand it and so they're trying to make sure that they're including everyone in their descriptions but you're going to lose some people and you're going to have some people that are going to complain about how they're doing it so that's just going to happen but with that maybe there could be a mod that could type it out and try to explain as they go if it's really that big of a problem um i don't think it's that hard to describe sarah and nair and such um it's pretty straightforward once you get the general idea, especially like the prefix on that. Like if you understand the beginning of the word, then obviously it's kind of straightforward from there. Mm -hmm. It's just hard to consistently be inclusive enough to where everyone can understand. So I definitely do agree that it could be directed towards the people that know it already. I just think that also with that in mind, 
we do want new players coming into this, and obviously being hype about a tournament is a good way to do so. So it's just hard to find a middle ground between that. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that's just my thoughts on casting, and, and I yeah, wish it was yeah, better. Tech, you got right. anything you want to add, man? No, I added the one thing that I can say is just like, there, there's definite changes, and I'm sure they know about it, so they talk about it, and, you know, I, I, I trust them to try their hardest. So. Okay, okay, okay. All right, well, let's talk about this small patch notes update deal. I think it already came out, actually. Um, I'll tell, or I'll post the aesthetics and like the things that are on sale in Twitch chat. Uh, Wasteland Ada to me looks really amazing. I actually really like how she looks. Um, Mrs. Frankenstein, man. <laughs> basically, um, sorry, my throat's dying. I don't really care about the dark heart stuff. That's just I don't really care about weapon skins. Um, the KO effect is cute. I think that's cool. Wouldn't bite myself. Um, but I really do like Wasteland Ada. True, Wasteland Ada is like so good, man. It's just too good. It looks so. It has so many different colors, such good details. Um, that being said, I wish they would go back to old skins and touch them up. I, I think there's some old skins that are for the same price as Wasteland Ada that could use a little touch up, you know? Like instead of pumping out skins, or let's say they don't even come out with a new skin, like next, like then one week they didn't come out with a skin at all or something like that. They just had like a small patch and then like a weapon skin or something like that. Uh, I think during, I think they could like touch up old skins, uh, make colors consistent. Cause I think like there's black colors that aren't consistent. Yeah. Like some are faded, some are super black, some are, you know, it's like black colors aren't consistent. Um, weapon skins. My, so I love the dark heart spear, but the, I, I feel like the dark heart blaster is like uh it's it kind of lazy um my my idea for the dark when i was thinking when i was waiting for the weapon to come out i was waiting like so dark heart it has like it has like this vein of like red ore right it looks like it's a mm -hmm. uh, looks like it's like some type of really hardened like rock or some shit like that and then like there's a vein of red ore that goes throughout it you see it through the guitars you see it in the swords you see it in the hammer and you see it in the axe right uh so my idea my what i took dark heart to be was this type of like super hard uh mineral or whatever that uh they made weapons out of and it makes sense cool like we sharpen it it's like super hard weapon and it makes sense to have it on guitars and it ha makes sense to have it out of a spear and have it on a sword and an axe but then basically taking that hardened metal or rock or what a mineral or whatever and then throwing a trigger on it and calling it calling it a gun I, I, I really didn't uh, I really didn't appreciate you know that I wish that they took like they took the ore or whatever like they so you basically take you so my idea is there, there's a there's a part in the gun that's hollowed out right so you have a gun and then there's a part in the gun that's hollowed out and you take like the ore and the way it'll look is that it's like red but it has like the the gray parts of the dark matter rock on it right and then that is what it basically takes the energy from that ore and it shoots out that energy so you you, you basically use the ore that powers or that powers the weapons to power the gun instead of making the gun out of the ore you know like um there there's a there's a steam page that uh has the lance on it right that shows the dark heart lance and it's actually like the, it's supposed so the lance is a rocket lance right it's, it's supposed to be some type of machinery that shoots out smoke and fire right but if you look at it, it's just it's just a, a a stick called the rocket lance. Like so, I don't see how you know you can you know make a a rock shoot out magical energy. Like put a trigger on a rock and it shoots out magic energy, or you just you make you 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 make a rock into a javelin and then now it's supposed to have smoke pop out of it and stuff like that. I wish um they definitely took more time into like you know making the weapons make sense, kind of. Um, but it is a game. Nothing really has to make sense. So, 
I guess like putting a trigger on the blaster is cool. Uh, I don't really enjoy it that much, but I'm pretty sure some people do. I saw some people buy it instantly. Yeah, um, true. If, if I were to buy a KO effect, I would definitely buy this KO effect. I think this one is super cool. Uh, the particles and stuff like that look really, really nice. Um, I think it's 10 times better than the party one. Uh, because, like, the the default one is like smoke with stars, right? And then the party one is like smoke with confetti, right? And balloons. So it doesn't seem it yeah, doesn't seem like. I think the sound is kind of cute, but yeah, the the, yay, the what is the sound? It's not yay, is it? It's like it's like balloons. It's yeah. like, yeah, like it's a kazoo, <laughs> yeah. it's a kazoo, right? It's like yeah, I don't know. Like if I were to buy anything, I would buy the 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 arcade one. It's that it yeah. adds something new and something different, kind of like an explosion. Uh, yeah, and, uh, it's called High Score. I like that one a lot, actually. Granted, I'm poor, so I won't get it, but I can definitely appreciate that one. Yeah, but that's I like my, that pixelated gamey effect. That's my only, uh, my only uh, critiques about the new cosmetics. All right, that's fair. Uh, Techie, any thoughts on that? And obviously, Wask, Ram, Sensei, um, just kind of yes. hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> um. I would say, cosmetic-wise, since I unfortunately had to sleep through the dev stream yesterday, I only caught the Reddit post on it, and I would say, generally, I'm okay with this stuff. Uh, I still don't understand the whole weapon skin thing, like, I, I always just see the value in getting a skin with the weapons and stuff, mm -hmm. yeah, same. You know, not picky, but, uh, like, they look fine to me. The new KO effect is amazing, and I wish I had more than fifteen dollars so I can actually get. Same, bud. <laughs> My bank account is killing me, but uh, yeah, I, like I, they're adding stuff that I actually like now, which makes me happy. Because nice. someday when I have money, I'll definitely get it because you know, giving money to the devs is amazing. Yeah, agreed. All right, Ram, what are your thoughts on this? Yes, all right, man. I get to speak. Um, <laughs> I like the dark heart bastards, man. They look cool, dude. Doesn't it doesn't have to make sense, Snacks? I know it doesn't have to make sense. True, I know. Yeah, I'm not saying I'm that. Shooting. I'm not I'm shooting sh things. <laughs> man. Yeah, man, it takes me back to my childhood, man. Just pick yeah. up this stick, and I'm a cowboy, right? But yeah, I'm not saying that. Um, I'm not saying that they have to change it. I'm just saying that could it be better? Yeah, is it fine? It's totally fine. Yeah. But could it be better? Yes, I, I think it could be better. It's true. Yeah. It's true. You know, I'm I'm one to uh, I'm one to say, like I'm one of those people that like if you show me something, like if you show me a project, and I'm gonna be like, oh, you could have did this. You know, I'm not gonna say this is like shit, but I'm saying like, oh yeah, you you could have did. I would have did this. You know, I like this part. I like this part, but I would have did this. You know, you know, like I'm the person that would provide. You know ideas on you know instead of just saying okay yeah this is perfect like you did absolutely amazing job I don't think anything could be perfect I think everything could be approved and that critique could be given on uh, majority of things that people create um, you know and I would appreciate people crit like crit critique like things that I created um, but um, you know, some people might take it the wrong way or whatever, but yeah, I'm, I definitely love it. I'm not trying to, you know, shit on it or anything like that. Just providing ways that it could be better in the future, you know, or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, go ahead, man. The KO effect, man. It's, I love it, dude, but I don't have 200 mammoth coins. For real. For real. Dude. We need you to Feels do. poor, man. Uh, bro, life, dude. <laughs> I haven't won a tourney yet. I haven't won a money tourney. Never get to anything. Man, but just well, money match dog brain. <laughs> yeah, that'll be your motivation. Oh, God. Man. Just to buy cosmetics in game. Oh, dude, all money match dog brain. Eventually, eventually. One, One day. day, man. One day. One day. Yeah. Just money match somebody that's worse than you, and then take that money, and then money match dog brain with that money. Then, like, you lose nothing. Oh God. That was like <laughs> gambling, man. But <laughs> wait a second. I just realized, have I won more money in money tournaments than, than you have even? Yeah, yo, no. Techie won three no. bucks, man. What do you <laughs> got to say, bro? No. <laughs> oh, God. He just threw shade at you. Shit. Alright, alright. 
let's briefly talk about where we think legends can go and if we have like any ideas about new legends and such and then we can talk about oh, esports oh, 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 oh. uh you guys have anything i personally don't have anything on this matter at least not right now but there, there's there's awesome stuff and if you guys were watching the discord yesterday does anybody see those things what, nope for what oh the on what discord the, 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 the in-game folder stuff where there was like gauntlet animations that weren't for anything we have yet yeah. What? No! Yeah! There was like, some monk thing, and it was like, doing force around it, and like, it would like, punch at the air, and then there was like... <gasps> gauntlet like, spear? Monk? Yeah, I think it's gauntlet spear or something like that, but it was, it was like, super awesome animations and stuff, and I, I told the guy to try to like, put it on a website or something, but... I, I need... <sighs> We got the no, data miners. We're in the data miners fucking team speak right now, man. We could just go to the source, dude. <laughs> Find it though. So yeah, yeah link it or something. There, there, there's cool stuff, and I'll have to like scroll back a billion messages because it was in the slash r slash uh Discord. So. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. But uh, there's there's a guy in there who data mines stuff, and he posts all this and like. Uh, if any of you guys remember the old um, Rax gun uh, downsig, where you'd like twirl it around and then shoot out the sides, well, there's a that, except it's gauntlets, mm. and it's like Someone super cool. Me. Oh, oh. oh yeah, Foxy Tech, you got a permanent ram now. I got you, ram. I got you. Permit. You guys are too slow. When when we need you in I chat. I was talking and scratching. Man, my I dog wants dying. belly rubs. I can't. I, I I can't focus on these things. I have to scratch my dog's tummy. Oh shoot, man! Look at that. Yeah, dude. Is this the thing? Oh, it looks pretty cool. There's oh yeah, that's yep, that's it. Dude, why is have... that basically Zenyatta from Overwatch? Anyways. Okay. Oh. <laughs> So yeah, there's there's stuff in there, and it looks amazing, and I'm hyped. Looks sick. That yeah. being said, though, there is no guarantee that these things will be in the game because Brawlhall, like, if you guys have ever worked with the BMG devs, you would know, like, they change their mind on everything, and like, they try to make sure what they release is the best possible thing. So they like pick up and drop projects a lot. Makes sense, man. That does look cool, though. So I'm excited either way. Yeah, that's the placeholder guy. He ate water. Animation. Yeah, that's the placeholder guy. Yeah. Looking at. Oh, and Creed sent me the animations and stuff too over Discord. So. Uh, nice. I was nice. too slow. But uh, yeah, um, so those are things like that situation so, I'm all about. Is it? Are we gonna have Super Sans? Is, like he was doing a Kami Kami Ha, man. That was I a, know. That was. A, is, are we gonna have Super Sans? Is that what we're? Is that what we're doing now? Super I Sans. That's what we're doing. Uh, uh, is it gonna be a monkey man? I was hoping it's gonna be Wukong man. I want a Son Goku, Son Wukong man. <laughs> With the fucking so, yeah. the the spear that goes like super long. Like imagine a Sig that has like a really really long spear. You know that'd be cool. It grows. That'd be cool. Oh. 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 Oh, um, oh! Would you guys like me to post the links for the two that Aram didn't link? Hey man, go ahead, go for it, go for it. There's the first one. Oh, Ram linked this one, man. He's slacking. Oh, what? Good, good. I, I'm just copy pasting. I like my computer's running like as if it was about to overheat, so I'm being uh, I'm just kind of hurrying oh, and doing oh, things. Oh, there, there he goes. Group techie. Oh, what the hell? Oh. Oh, you That's didn't get the dashing one. Okay, let me get you the dashing one. Man, I honestly kind of want another guitar legend. No, please, no. Link's courtesy is <laughs> part of the Creed, who well, has I mean, been like, whispering me, helping me out. I think there's only five guitar users. Dude, and we're going. That's, enough, that's but... like the smallest. No, no! No, man. We need Bo Hammer, man. That's all we need, okay? I'm talking about 
talk to Obviously, we need I don't want as well. I, I if it, and if it's no. Wow, English no. is really hard. We need I'm bow hammer. It's hard main. No, we need bow hammer. Okay, like they just need to make bow hammer, and they need to make it good, and then that, uh, you know, and then everybody will be happy, man. That's the guitar, man. Nobody will be happy. Stay out of the guitars for a while. Nobody is ever happy. What do you need for guitars, man? You got Ember and you got a Surrey. What, uh, this, no, I think can't... that's fine. I just said for consistency. There's only five of them. That's the smallest amount of one weapon. The way I legend number. The way I feel about okay, it is bitch, though. That just came out. You know, the way I feel about it is that they have the best guitar legends to play. They got Knife, they got Ember, and they got a Siri. You don't need like any other guitars. I'm not even complaining about the current guitar legends. I'm just talking about consistency's sake. Yeah, you man. Know, just at least one more. Just so there's at least six. I'm talking about <laughs> consistency too, man. Every every <laughs> weapon, every weapon has the best stats for that weapon, man. <laughs> God. Except for Hammer. And Ram try to fight me by saying there's only one gauntlet user. Like, that's a legitimate argument. It's he just came point. out. Yo, Tech. <laughs> yo, yo, Doggo, oh, you want to, uh. Next character? <laughs> yeah, Even that's, that sounds fine. Yo, yo, Doggo, you want to talk about esports news? <laughs> yep, Doggo would like to talk about esports news. Okay. No more Doggo. Okay. So, lots of things in esports because BCS. So, um. We'll start off with the thing that I, even I didn't expect to happen, which was Australia has a sponsor already. Yeah, man, I saw that, yeah. man. We thought it was kind of weird. Which caught me totally off guard, but I'm super happy about it, because that's like months before I ever expected anything. So they now have a uh, organization over there that'll be doing tournaments and uh, sponsoring uh, the favorite Australian to win uh, uh EU, how do you, eh, I'm great at English, uh, favorite to win their, uh, um, yes. qualification tournament, yeah, and then they also have another high-ranked player, I uh, still don't have a sponsor out there for Tiger, but we'll get there eventually. Is that Tiger C? Yep. He's uh, like yeah, one Tiger's on C in, in, in Australia. He also, like, got the godlike win rate and stuff, um, and then and there's the other one that happened that was, uh, uh, shoot and kill esports, which I, I posted it out like five minutes before we started the uh, podcast. Oh man, I didn't see that. Yeah. Where um, part of the Creed, Physic, and Aram got sponsored. Uh, part of the Creed got a, a streaming one. So, yeah. And Aram, the only reason you guys haven't seen him, by the way, is because he was in Korea. So, when he comes back, he'll be playing. Dude, um, I don't know who that guy yeah. is, man. So that that got announced today there's BCS generated quite a lot of interest in other sponsor groups that I've, like I've been talking with um, there's like I mean I, I I try not to shout them out too much just because it's they be on that bullshit are... man right <laughs> it, it's it's more the give players a chance to talk to them type thing nah, I but because uh, they, they like sought out certain players and I don't want to ruin those players chances by suddenly getting them barraged by offers and potentially turning them off of it uh, but no. I, I can tell you um, like Twilight got like six offers so like we're, we're definitely getting more stuff going on um, and then Egg Soup got an offer but it's like the, the people who are reaching out on their own are meeting a whole lot more success than the people who are waiting. And it's it's pretty happy. Sorry if you hit my telephone, by the way. It's but, fine. Yeah, it's, it's um, fine, man. But yeah, so BCS is doing that. I'm working really hard to get a lot of uh, scouts from the EU region and international orgs to watch uh, the EU scene because I know the Dobrain and... Uh, and Exo Hype, I I still struggle with saying his new name, Daiku or something like that. Daiku. But uh, there's that, and then there's like Stardust, and you know, A Aram. Yeah. Gotta gotta gotta. There we go. Have them look out for him. So <laughs> he needs to stop stop yeah. being a little bitch, man, and go talk oh to God. people. Thanks. Working on it. 
Oh, no, you're not, man. You weren't working on it when you had the chance. Just let him live. <laughs> no, man. I'm just a child. I'm just a Ram child. is the biggest person in our Discord that cries about getting sponsored. And then when he gets his chance, he fucking sits and talks to us about it. About how scared he is, man. <laughs> I'll take care of it, man. I'll take care of it. Alright, man. I'm sure you would. Yeah, but, like, as I, as I offered before, and I, like, I sat down with snacks and stuff, but it's... I can sit down and kind of help teach about how to talk to sponsors, how to like properly reach out on your own because I can't really do that anymore because of a change of policy. So it's like I do the educational thing now. Dude, you got to bother like, Techie and tell him to come talk to you yes, in voice like, chat. Totally bother me because that's Every, what I do. Everything else doesn't work. Trust me, I know. I've been through this. Okay? Yep. Okay. But uh and then I'm hoping I'm hoping something comes of all snacks' work that he's putting into it now too. Yeah, man, I'm so. going berserk, dude. I'm trying. Yep. I can only I can only do so much. I gotta wait for people to talk to me back, man. Yep. I gotta update yeah. my snacks portfolio, man. I got fifth in the GCU tournament, man. Nice. Let's go. So yeah, that's 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 the majority of the esports stuff. But like, expect even more things to go on. Um, I'm working on a lot of the side projects as well. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we should be seeing some stuff come of that. I I helped teach one of the guys in the Australia group so that they can kind of help develop their own scene a bit down there because I can't manage like a lot of things at once. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, it's exciting. So many esports things and so little sleep. What about that social life stuff? What about the uh, the marriage? Is that was that a, was that like a shit post or people I'm getting married? Sure that was. You think that was a shit? That was a shit post, man. No, Pancake six. Pancake probably. Pancake sixty nine and dog tamer isn't getting married, man. God, Harry forgot about that. Yeah, pretty sure that was. <laughs> Come on, man. Post. They gotta I'm walk sorry. down the aisle with hammers and spears, man. Bye. <laughs> Fucking cosplay, man. That's when you come in, Foxy. You gotta go do her makeup. But if she wants to be, wait, is it a she? Is it a, is it two guys? I'll do it either way. I don't care. Uh, what? Is it a two guys or is it a she? Who's Pancake? Probably two guys. Is it Cap of Pride, man? Just take that guess. <laughs> I think Cap of Pride. Are they? I don't know, man. I don't want to say the wrong thing, man. I don't want to offend them. I two people getting married, man. Nice. <laughs> so it's, it's quality shit. Uh, uh, hey, hey, man. I thought it was. A, I thought. It, I thought they were serious, man. But maybe I'm just the people that they were pranking, man. You know. I I, I, I don't know. I I didn't look too much into it. I just kind of yeah. Same. I was like, oh, okay. Typical Reddit. What? On. Come on, yep. man. People get married. That's serious business. You don't joke about this. No, I don't give a fuck. Are you kidding? Me? What if they send you a <laughs> What if they send you an invite? Yeah, that's, I'm sure oh. that will happen. Yep. That's free food, though. What? I will go to anybody's okay, wedding, yeah, bro. Fair. I respect that. What? I will go to anybody's wedding. Get free food, free cake. Come on, man. I ate anything sweet. Okay, cake. Whatever. Cookies. We'll also, fucking wedding crash. Some, something that that I just found out. Um, the typo in my post I made on Reddit about SNK, that is part of the Creed's fault, not mine. He spelled what? his name wrong, dude. Yeah, he uh, spelled his name wrong, not me. Damn, know. man, he got fat fingers, man. You can't be fucking up how you type. I got fat fingers, too. No, that too. was him. I, I copy-pasted. I, I just control c control v and that was all on him. You should have went to his Twitter, man. Yeah, see, or like the logic I used... Checks. When you I can't spell check a name. Have you seen his name? Come on, man. I can't even spell check my own name. Is he spelling with an X? I don't no, I my real it. name. Oh. Damn, okay. Techie, do your research. Fool. What? Don't be lazy. Don't Come be on. lazy. Yeah. No, Fuck wrong okay. with you, Techie. I was, I was awake the for disrespect. five minutes. A little bitch. And part of the crew was like, hey, <laughs> we uploaded the video thing. And so I'm like, okay, I'll make the post. And I was like, can I get your name? Because with my brain right now, I'll totally botch this. And he was like, sure. And so he put it in and I copy-pasted it. And you fucked it up. Come on, man. Stop being no, a fucking scrub, scrub, techie, alright? Just get good. 
Exactly. I did get good. There's no more. There's no more um, issue with typing there. Did you put edit? Did you put I I fucked up? You gotta put that, man. You gotta go to the bottom and put edit. I'm a scrub and I spelled this name wrong, so people understand. You can't be editing posts that people already upvoted or whatever. Rip. People get mad at that, you know. I already got downvoted for being me. So it's bad, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm triggered. Exactly. Alright, um, should we wrap it up? It's yeah, I think, think we, we think? I think yeah, we done, I think man. my laptop's about to, like, commit Sudoku. It's Sapuku, man. Come I on. Is, I Don't can't. troll me, Techie. I can't That's take this from you. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. You know what? I'm done. <laughs> I hate all of you guys except Ram. No, I hate Ram, too. Whoa. I hate I hate everybody Ooh. in this call oh, right now, shit, man. man. Really good uh, man, fuck all you guys. Fuck all three, you motherfuckers. I hate all of you, man. I hate all of you, man. All so much, so much. Oh. Listen, you don't have something with snacks and have him not say fuck you, okay? Exactly, what? man. What? Fuck what? all you guys. Fuck everybody, man. Who? Who? Why was he banned? Why? Who banned fucking? <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Wasn't me. Oh my god, man. Dope ring, what are you doing? Yo, Slug, fuck you, man. Yo, no boss, fuck you too. Lottie F. I like you, man. You're cool. Yo, Magma Bob, why didn't you sign up, man? Fuck you, man. You made me so mad. He sign up. He just didn't oh my god, thing. don't. That's so mean. <laughs> Ram deserves better, okay? He's just been hanging out, not even talking. You fucking hate him? Damn. Man, Ram just pissed me off, man. I had to, no, I had <laughs> to deal with, I had to deal with fucking, I had to deal with all of DreamHack and Discord this whole week, man. man. Come on. They were streaming beer in three different words in Swedish, man. It was crazy. Oh, yeah. yeah I couldn't speak in Discord because everyone was screaming at DreamHack. <laughs> Sounds about right. What about that banana, though, Ram? Right, so... <laughs> we done? Oh, we what done? the fuck? <laughs> um, is, yeah. Is the story involving a banana here? Yeah, man. Okay. You want to tell people yeah, about the banana story? No, 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 we're, <laughs> done. We're, done. we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. That's, that's it, man. That's it. Okay. Uh, let's let's go, bro. Let's I can go. bring boxing gloves now. Are you kidding me? No, oh my god. Let's yeah. not get into this. What? I can cosplay, man. I'm gonna be a core, dude. <laughs> they can't tell me no now. They fucked up. Come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> no, man. I'll probably still get kicked out for being for cosplaying, dude. Oh my god. All right. Cool, man. <laughs> we'll take care of this next. If you really want right. this, if you really want this. Yep, we're good. Yep, this is fine. <laughs> I'm dead inside. I'm dead inside. Oh my god, yo, we're yeah, ending the podcast. Place to stop. <laughs> Yo, this is the end of Snakesy Cast episode, I think, 11, 12? I don't know, I can't oh, count. I don't even know anymore. I can't count. Yo, hopefully, yo, doing? big announcement for Snakesy Cast. Hopefully next week we will be rebranding, yo. We will be a new cast. We will be a new Bro, us. We will not be a new cast. But nah, don't put don't people. put that much faith in Alright, yeah, we life. won't be we won't be that new. <laughs> okay, we won't be that new. But we're gonna be slightly We gonna switch it up, alright? We're gonna hit you on the flip side, you know? We're gonna flip it. Hey? We're gonna put the remix on it. Let's go. <laughs> Snakesy cast <laughs> remix. <laughs> remix so we're gonna mix it up um definitely look for big things um if you guys honestly if you guys want to be a part of it honestly you guys can just hit me up your hit me up a stream hit up uh techie nah techie yep. don't techie nah and just hit up me i forgotten what you wanted us to talk about i'm just saving it for next Shit. time Whoa. oh okay yeah 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 so, so basically, you guys gotta hit me up if you guys wanna be like, if you guys wanna be um bop bop guest, you know, if you guys wanna talk about your organization or blah 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 all that bullshit. I can take abuse from snacks. Man. Yeah, man, I'm a bully around yeah. here, all right. Yeah. I'm the big bag bully. That's just right? a standard. <laughs> exactly. It builds have... character, okay? Yeah, you know, I'm out here saving lives, okay? Like, look at us, we're fucking fine. Exactly. Totally. So, I say totally. while my soul escapes my body because I'm dead inside. Man, you never had a soul in the first place, Foxy. It's okay. See, look at that oh. shit. Whoa, dude. 
I, I don't disagree, but shit. <laughs> alright, alright, yo, so we're gonna end it. I'm gonna wave for Voxy. This is Voxy's wave, like this. Thanks. I, oh. Yeah, this is how Voxy oh. is. <laughs> Dude, okay, right. Can I just, oh. can I just give give Marshall a shout out? Yo, shout out to that big motherfucker, man. Sports Igor, he's threatening threatening me on Steam, man. Dude, that big motherfucker, you better oh. be scared, dude. Yeah. Dude. dude. He said he was up to contract AI, AI versus BX3 at Worlds. Man, let's go, man. I'm ready. <laughs> what? So ready, man. Okay, okay. Uh, Marshall. Send this out, man. What the fuck is happening? I don't know, but yo, I'm I'm gonna do my wave. Tech, you do your wave. Doggo, you're all dead to me. You dead? Ah, uh, yeah. Alright, <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's the end of the yeah. call. Oh, goodbye, Techie. <laughs> yo, Techie died. Yo, Techie can't wave. So I'm gonna wave for Techie. Dies, you gotta do shit. the Sorry. the wave. Wait, you gotta do the, this. You gotta do this wave, right? This is Techie's wave. This is my wave. This is this Box's is wave. Whatever, we stayed mostly intact for this podcast. It wasn't as big as a mess as it normally is. Maybe. Alright, yo, so shout out to you guys. <laughs> this video is going up on YouTube immediately. Immediately. And, um, see you guys next week, man. Later. Bye. 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 User disconnected from your channel. Disconnected.